Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer Chaos Gate. My name is Hagen and today we're continuing a blind playthrough on legendary difficulty with a good old Grandmaster mode enabled. Today we're going to eliminate sea carriers and uh, take less than 35 damage. And we're going to get some uh, nice loot, our standard team applies. And um, if we play, uh, play out everything according to plan, then we're going to get a Paladin on top of it. So, without further ado, let's jump into the mission and see what the game has in store for us. Data indicates the sons of the Putrid Eye use these roads as a base of operation. Another foul cult of Nurgle. There is little doubt we will find more of these seeds below. Brothers, advance. Fabulous. So how many seeds do we have? One, two, three. Hmm. I am wondering like from here to here we can easily take that this is just a little bit more of a distance good what are the stratagems we got armor we got crit and we got wheel points back good choice all right let's hurry up Wow. Okay, that was a bit unexpected, I will admit. Time for us to get armor. Time for us to... Get a good chance. And our librarian will hopefully get us safely in there. <laughs> Hello. Fabulous. So, Librarian, uh, 17 willpower. That's not bad at all. Good. We're beginning to move up. Hit this guy and hit him very well. Fantastic. Alright, warp speed. Support fire should knock these guys down what is your will oh damn i should have <laughs> should have uh, first done this year on another chapter and then my bad Wasted one. Wasted one point. As you 
Battle Series. Opening fire. I am the Emperor's Fury. Good, that's stupid. The immobilization will be a bit of a problem. Yeah. One. Fabulous. So we need to cleanse immobilization. Because, as you can imagine, we want to continue with our onslaught here. Another warp speed buff over to our chaplain. And we're continuing the teleportation. Let's hope we're not triggering both of the packs. One. Filth unwanted. Very good, but. It's okay. Until the guy decided to put a zone down. Yes, Commander. Good. Let's extra extract the seed. I pulled a seed from this rot. Would be perfect to push these guys just down. Support fire. Ready to serve. Oh, it has already triggered twice this round. Oh, that's unfortunate. Thinking, nah, we're not using warp speed by Mancy a third time. What is your will? And we're not taking a 50 50, we're just gonna kill this guy. Weapon gone. I like that. At your command. That is a good chance to actually kill him in one hit.
good. How about taking away Nurgle's gift? That's a good hit. We have and we're hitting, we're, we're chopping off his head. Three hits Just for a kill. Unleash me. Nice hit. Fantastic hit to be precise. And we're still in the same turn. Very good. Buffing our apothecary. Um, the apothecary above the uh, librarian. Continuing to warp. Give me that seat. Another seed. Very good. Now we don't have any more interruptions. It stinks a little bit. So let's put this with a warp charge in there. Oh, it also disrupts. Cool. Focus, There we go. The guy is stunned. Which is what I wanted because now what we're going to do is we're finishing him. And that leads to execute. Everybody gets more stuff back. Our librarian regains all of the will points. What is your will? This guy here cannot be stunned. Disable the shredding blades. Fantastic.
Uh, the destabilized I don't do because I don't want it to move too far away. Yes, Commander. And that'll be a kill. Ah, this guy is a problem. This commander. I am here to serve orders. But we do have enough shields to solve that. Melee weapon disabled. Fantastic. Ready to serve. Wars. Yeah. At your service. Okay, I've yes, carry. Moves up. Gets the world point back. And the seed. First turn is destroyed at your command. Switch positions because the guy that is going to teleport us needs good line of sight. Good. We got our 17 war points back. There we go. Give me seats. Well done, my brothers. However, the plague god's minions converge on your location. Hold your ground so the dominus can teleport you from the surface. This is coming with me. Good. Push the guy further into our direction. I like that. Nah, that's not good. Yes, Commander. Your orders. Standing ready. Through suffering comes strength. Well, if you think that feel free to do uh, to think that but in reality it's not just suffering taste to death your orders
praise the Emperor. Alright, a little bit of AOE damage. And we want to spread the love. Hit and another hit. One hit and I'm barely not a kill. <laughs> so close. turn I'll do the most simple and elegant way of dealing with that Librarian OP. Moving There's now. no other way of saying it. My blade is ever ready. <laughs> yes, we left a little bit of XP behind, but it is marginal. That refill on will points, that's a crazy mechanic. I mean, he already has like 20 will points, and with that refill. We're looking at even more. We strive. The Aegis shield us. The 
Secure in position! <laughs> Secure in position! Noble protect! All active Astartes recovered. Beginning teleportation. Cool, I think we even took zero points of damage here. Super good combination, those four classes. All right, we want a paladin, so that's a, a, a given. That's not bad. Four stun on the brain mines. The question is, do I now want to take two uh, requisition just to get the second brain mine, or am I simply only taking level three? So then we do have Demon Stinger, which is a Psylancer. Finally, level three Psylancer. Five damage is great. Activate to get disrupted, that's the standard. Um, scatter shot I think is also the standard but this guy here would have plus four damage against demonic targets and plus 40 percent crit okay that is a keeper super good and what else do we have here cures of sacrifice four hit points Two willpower, 20% focus is good, 20% resistance, it's, it's just a set of armor that has it all. I think it's pretty good. Cool, so in terms of XP, right? We are all level 7, with the exception of Fluffy, who has now made it to level 8. Yeah, and it seems to be in the nature of the Interceptor to just gobble up all of uh, the experience. Get an extra AP. And more crit damage. Very strong class. And our apothecary. Uh, we wanted to test the melee option ourselves, right? So no stun, but let's just go melee ourselves, which is more heal. And that would be bleed into whenever they crit, they gain one AP into extra crit damage. Okay, that's fine. Might as well test that. It's sad. Good, we do have new armor. That's a that's just an all around good armor. Not sure what to say. It is just a really good armor. I thought long and hard about the purifier. Okay. I think there is a bit of a conceptual mistake in this class. So I do understand that the purifier is kind of the purgator, but more in a fire base. Okay, get that, no problem. But instead of then 
pro uh, making the um, flamers far longer range. You could, for instance, say they have a bro broad spread and they are uh, mm, short range and a narrow spread and then they are uh, longer range. Instead, they offer astral aim, but you need to go through the flamer section in order to take skills that don't have anything to do with flamer to begin with. Huh? That really doesn't make any sense to me. So, I think this here is great. The section itself is also not bad, but it sort of moves away from the flamer. It makes him yet another perjurer, and since this character is already skilled in that way, uh, I can either kind of ignore those three points up here, yeah, um, which I'm not going to, I'm not willing to do, or we're simply saying this here is, yeah, cost of doing business, those two points are not existing. So we're essentially going up here, and that also means that all of this here is pointless. And since we have a two-handed weapon, uh, we can't really melee strike. So this is also, those are also pointless. It brings us to kind of a flamer ability that we could uh, use in order to light up enemies. Okay, I think that's fair. And then down here, uh, the passive resistance, but also the unstoppable conflation, because whenever you use a psychic ability, and astral aim is a psychic ability this here is a psychic ability as well um, you basically stack up uh, damage up to three times um, until the next round and that as you can see around can last quite long so i think this here is potent i like it and uh, you also get uh, 35 uh, resistance on top of it um, I don't. Um, I wouldn't do the soul, um, the soul blaze trigger because soul blaze is basically when someone is near you. So that means you need to be in melee, and that's really not what the pur um, purifier, um, at least when they have a range-only gun, is supposed to do. So really, what I uh, am seeing is auto here for rapid reload. That's okay. Auto here because this here kind of compensates for the non-existence of extra ammunition on uh, on the tree so a rapid reload is good then if you kill three you get an ap that's not bad either because um, funnily enough um, uh, some of uh, the uh, longer range weapons that work with astral aim also do have an aoe option and you do have grenades so that in itself is a really solid build but then you still have levels left over and I think there is a lot of a lot of stuff munched together in, in this uh, class that doesn't really necessarily fit together. And uh, I would have, for instance, if I would have skilled from the uh, from the ground, I would have fully gone for the, that incinerator and left uh, Astral Aim completely untouched. Um, this un is unfortunate. I think the Cleansing Flame um, could benefit from uh, from just more fire damage uh, if you make it kind of an AOE damage uh, that just deals fire damage. I think that would be better and uh, not so much the damage over time. Uh, so if I had skilled him myself, I would have gone into that uh, that direction. But it is what it is now. So we're going to give uh, this character uh, the Psy Cannon. And uh, no, not the Psy Cannon, sorry, the Psy Lancer. And might as well let him work against a couple of demons. And this bad boy here is just crazy. Um, the extra uh, damage when you crit against demons, 40% extra crit target. That's dope. That's really, really good. It's nine points of damage per shot in a relatively long range. Good weapon, really good weapon. Now what we need is better grenades because if this here on level two is four stun, then this here on level three is five stun and then we're talking because all of a sudden you can lob two grenades, stun two targets completely and just reset point, uh, points. So that's very good utility all of a sudden. Uh, and if this here goes up, 
uh, maybe by two points of damage per level, then all of a sudden having nine blast damage what, is something to consider um, because he has a huge blast radius. Uh, I like what I'm seeing. This here would also be nice, level four, um, if you get four extra crit damage for ranged attacks, then that would be awesome. Oh, we have forgotten to look at the Paladin, my bad. We finally got the Paladin. How could I have forgotten to take a look at him? There we go, level 2 Paladin. Alright, uh, let's explore the abilities together. So, uh, seems to be melee focused does have um, the option to equip psi cannons which apparently this guy here is skilled uh, i don't think that that is necessary but okay strikes me more as a melee character but whatever uh, hit points is good and more hit points is good as well and um hmm wait 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 he can Activate for an additional stun. So, a force strike augments melee attack, and the, his force strikes essentially deal two additional stun. Hmm, that's not bad. Good down here. He has Emperor's will. which is shifting over will points, so that's just like the chaplain. Um, okay, it's an okay ability. Up here, he has Smite. Uh, also four points of damage, but not unlimited range. He needs to be a bit closer. So that's fine, that's just like uh, the Librarian. I wouldn't have given that to a Paladin necessarily, but uh, this plus one stun intrigues me. So um, this here is okay, this here not, it doesn't really fit very well, but this up here leads to this here, which is Fury of the Ancients. Target is a spread attack over 45 degree arc in medium range, so kind of like a Flamer to deal six damage, knockback, on top of it and we can upgrade the range to almost bolter range and we can activate it to give a plus six damage so that's uh, four will points for 12 damage 12 damage and knockback in almost bolter range so well, that looks okay Let's follow the Psy Cannon, although I don't really want to follow that train of thought. Uh, ranged weapons, 15% crit. Might have uh, judged it too early because it says ranged weapons, which also includes bolters. Um, one extra ammo. And whenever he crits with a ranged attack, he gets AP back. And overall, two additional crit damage. So this is a super solid, um, just overall good range damage improvement. And then down here he has arcane weapons, where he's essentially um, depleting his ammunition, arcane bolts, to give uh, someone else uh, crit damage, plus one crit damage per two ammo for their next ranged attack. So it's just the next range attack, not for one turn. Um, yeah, it's still not the biggest fan. If it would last for a turn, then it would be kind of a, a ra the ranged equivalent buff. Um, and with a lot of ammunition, say five ammo, 
Yeah, you could... 6 ammo you could do like what? Plus 3 dam uh, damage? I somehow fail to understand... Um, I mean, you could do for 3 will points and an AP, you can give someone plus 6 damage on their next attack. And plus 3 crit damage, so it's 9 damage for 3 will points onto someone else, and you need to spend an AP for it. I just don't think that that is really good logic behind it. Over here, melee weapon increases that looks... Um, rock solid specifically since he has five percent crit on all melee weapons as a as a base so we're looking at what ten percent crit chance to uh two additional crit damage that's good and a uh, and a fifty percent chance to regain a uh, martial focus so that looks good i mean the stun is good um I was sort of hoping we would get more stun. Down here, guaranteed crit, more crit damage for that ability, and bleed. And I'm not the biggest fan of uh, this tree here. And up here, defend position. Set a, a zone over an area of three. Gain 3 armor, gain 4 armor, okay, and auto 100%, one permission, when this knight would suffer a critical wound, cancel it and restore, okay, so he's essentially unkillable, well, that's not bad. Hmm. So for me, this whole class here screams tank. And I guess what I'm not 100% understanding is, why would you go, like this up here seems to be caster. And the Fury of the Ancients is okay. I, I guess it's fine. But four will points for uh, 12 points of damage is also not necessarily super effective damage if you compare it with the maelstrom uh, that the librarian has that's only three damage and the librarian has this here but with unlimited range and a little bit better so it's clear that the librarian is a better kind of caster but that's okay i get it those two however don't define him this here looks very much out of place uh, it seems um, like they give you the, the decision do you want him to be a caster and uh, dumb, uh, or do you want him to be kind of ranged and this here is always the option to dump your to dump your um, will points to someone else hmm. this here looks incredibly good four strikes to two additional stun like that's massive and this is a good tree the only other class that has such a good melee tree is the interceptor difference between him and the interceptor is interceptor essentially can teleport he cannot this here is great because that defend position is a nice ability and this year down here isn't that bad either. So from a theory crafting perspective, how I read the classes, uh, I would um, go for melee. Uh, get all of that, including uh, the auto. I would potentially get all of this here, including the auto because I can see that this class is using melee and the and the bolter, and having the option to get an AP uh, whenever you crit, and having both of them as crit uh, crit options, that's not bad. That's not bad at all, because AP is king. 
This here, of course, is absolutely bombastic if you go with extra stun. That can that can turn his melee hits into into a stun factory. And then this here is good as well. So that's potentially how I would build it. I'll ignore everything up here. Too expensive. Will points would go into almost exclusively, exclusively four strike and emperor's will. And, and that's good. Um, Emperor's will means you can give someone else will points and four strike to stun uh, targets. I think that's good. And thinking about it, Hammerhand also allows you to crit. And uh, since crit uh, gives you a chance for an extra AP, I can see that focusing on this side, plus down here and taking that uh, should be the way to go. Uh, let's just do loadout. He could have a storm shield, gain three armor. Ooh. Set a zone over area three for one turn. Strike any enemy acting in the zone. Ends his turn and creates knockback. Hmm. I mean, we have a lot of really, really good uh, storm bolters, so not sure if I like that, but I am willing to give it a try and see how good it works. Strikes me as the kind of guy that wants to wear a hammer. <laughs> Are you, I mean, you gotta give it to him. He looks quite juicy. Uh, as an equipment, doesn't really need a lot of willpower, as far as I can tell. But that sanctified shard might come in handy. Um, he had. This here is an option. I will need to think about, I mean, if we go with Bolter, clearly he can't wear a shield. So we'll, we'll find out if the shield is worth it. Um, he only has that one auto here, other than it. So that's not good enough for the, uh, for the shard. So in that case, we are just going to do the disruptor thing. Uh, super good skull, by the way. Okay, cool. Good, uh, we're currently working with Righteous, uh, with Righteous Endurance. What I've noticed is some of uh, the, um, some of the stratagems you can't multi-use, but we can multi-use, so we definitely cannot multi-use this. Oh, 
it's plus one stratagem use like overall hmm, potentially Ship project, uh, improved reactor, finally. Okay, so. Let's get the last prognostic cars so that we can set that up. Afterwards, I think what we wanted to do was um, level three warp drive, so that we're a little bit faster, and then warp storm risk elimination. Servitors have flagged some interesting chatter from a nearby way station of the Officio Medicae. They appear to have been inoculating their patients against the effects of the bloom. We should travel to the facility and investigate. I will mark its location on the star map. Okay, where is that location? All right, let's go there. Of course, just as the bloom spreads. Kill 10 enemies with ranged weapons. A paladin. And requisition. Also level three storm shields, cool. What do we have down here? Um, no master crafted weapons. Level 3 servo skulls is a really good argument. But I think we don't even have enough. No, we can't get that. It will suck so much if we're going to here. Purifier, servitors, also servo schools. I mean, this is the easiest mission, but it's absolutely not nice to, uh, to go there. I think we're going here and then we will have enough time to go there. Warp storm travel will F us over real really badly. Of course, warp storm is turbulence. Good. What are we working with? We get plus one requisition. If we kill enough with ranged weapons, uh, that'll be great. What do we need to do? Sea carrier. Well, yeah, sure, we can do that. Uh, level three storm shield. Yeah, the storm shield is the only thing that would be of interest, but maybe we're just keeping everything and since we can go here there are services school uh, service schools and uh, terminator armor both level three which are potentially good good we're definitely going to go with our normal team I am thinking about if we extend our 
barracks once more whether or not we want another um, interceptor because these guys are just so good but we already have three interceptors on level nine then so I think I've proven the point and I want a bit more versatility um, so we got paladin plus uh, plus chaplain plus purifier where's the purifier up here so we got three out of four the only guy that we're then requiring is the librarian um, and if we get another one that would be dope so the last uh, the last slot is definitely reserved for a librarian and those four I think can make a good team chaplain plus paladin would stun The purifier doesn't really fit the bill though. I mean, mm, yes and no. Uh, we, I, the librarian, I wouldn't want to go for teleportation. I wanted this time to use him for AOE damage. So to a degree, the librarian and the purifier are going to be kind of the ranged damage dealers and the chaplain and the paladin would chain stun and kill people plus the purifier uh, would have the stun grenades as well on top uh, so that would uh, be good and the librarian to be fair we could uh, give him the uh, the, uh, the stun magic as well so that definitely would work that definitely would work it's just no teleportation at the beginning it's more focus on uh, damage so yeah that team I'm excited to play as well just need to see how we're doing against enemies that are not stunnable and then we do have our ranged only team got a purgator got a purgator and got a justicar those we already have um, the question is who's what's the last uh, character in there and we already said Justicar is range both of the um, putators are going to be ranged as well and we could go with an interceptor and heavy weapon I think that was one idea the other one would be the chaplain uh, with that crazy ranged uh, ability the what is it called the lithany because listen that's a solid 45 percent range damage the only thing that he does not have is a great ranged weapon But yeah, that would be good. I think I had another thought the last time that I uh, conceptualized it. I think double uh, putator was good. And then if we, the interceptor had like what? Yeah, they did have, they did have the option for heavier uh, guns, didn't they? Yeah, silencers, here we go. So that plus support fire would be really, really good. Can teleport itself. That's not bad. Yep, that's not bad at all. In terms of prep work for now, uh, I like the idea of recovering all willpower that is great crit fantastic that is good and hmm what else are we taking i 
what else are we taking i mean the ap can be helpful from uh, from time to time so that's always helpful good that seems like a really decent team Uh, I have to wonder in terms of loadout like this halberd here deals five points of damage but this demon hammer here deals six plus four when uh, they crit And it has a really good crit chance. Hmm. And not just against demons, mind you. Demon Bane, on the other hand, has seven points of damage against demons, period. good hammer but I think Demon Bane isn't bad either all right enough wobbling uh, we are going to do this mission the next time for now it is time to say goodbye and as uh, our chapter Lord oftentimes says you need to do better I guess that's my best impression of him and better we shall do uh, the next time that we're going to join here in Warhammer. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you enjoy Warhammer, leave a comment and a like down below. It means a lot to me, and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.